Episode 3 of the Dead Man Mode Tournament. This is the episode where we need to progress as much as possible so we are PK ready for episode 4. And the first upgrade we are getting is the Magic Imbued Cape. And that's Sarah Strike completed. Flames of Samurai completed. There we go, that's the final spell. We can now go get ourselves the cape. Now we got the Demon's Heart, and that's Sarah's Hand, and that's Guthig's Foot completed. We're of course going for the best cape in the game, the Guthig's Cape. There we go, beautiful. We are done here. Never coming back. So the current goal is to get 94 magic on my main account, the account which have completed Desert Treasure. We are now 84, started at 80 today. Not too many levels left. And that is 85 magic. And we get that supply drop. Another supply drop and a tier 5. Thanks to this tier 5 I got 1.5 million points, which means I can get myself a rune pouch for when I need it. Oh hello, a dragon plate skirt. And that is 90 magic. So while I'm training magic on my main account, I'm gonna do some barrels run on my alt. And from the first barrel chest we get... Nothing, 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 nothing. And that's a tier 5. That is 94 magic, we can now cast the ice barrage. Now it's time for us to get range up. Ooh, a Torag's plate body. That's our first item. But that's a horrible item, I want the tank legs, not the tank body. Ooh, a Varric Brizzard. A very bad item. But we can still high elk it, so it's not too bad. Ooh, a nice item. Best item today, Varric's Hump. And that is 50 construction, very useful for PKing because now we can make a portal chambers in our house. Not only do we have the portal chamber, we now have an altar. Oh no! Another Torax plate body. Dude, this guy is so wave came for Black D height. You didn't see me? And he's dead! Two hit! He, I AFK checked him and it worked! Looting bag, 74k in the looting bag. And we can continue this task. Let's have a look at this key. Ah, 100 dragon arrow tips. Oh my god, a clan just ran up on me. Oh, a Torag Helm! This Torag Helm, it's the best in slot, so that's a great item. And from our first Neve task, we get Aberrant Spectres. Bleh. Oh no! We got an RMS piece, nice. But the worst one, so sad. I think that's six items in 28 chests, so that's pretty good RNG. That's our first superior on Deadman mode, good luck. And that is 90 range, the reason why we're here, let's go and train melee. I might die here actually, holy shit. Oh my god, I got a gap. Oh my god, who was that? Alright, so we are 30 attack, 31 strength. We're gonna go for 65, 65 so we can go to Warrior's Guild and get ourselves a Dragon Defender. 60 attack, let's now grab ourselves the D skin. And that is 65, 65. Let's now get ourselves the Dragon Defender. That's a beautiful tier 5 emblem. Alright, let's see how many kills we need for the Dragon Defender. First Defender, 19 kill count. Iron Defender took me 16 kills. What are the chances I can spec this guy out? And we got him. Two hit. Oh my god. That's a free D skimmy right there. This took a long time. 57 Cyclops for the Steel Defender. 5 kill count for the Black Defender. 24 for the Mithril Defender. 94 kill count for the Addy Defender. What the hell is this? A curved bone? One curved bone later. Rune Defender. 38 kills. It's happened! We got lucky for once! And that was 14 kills for the Dragon Defender. And I got a backup Dragon Defender. I really need a Xerix Talisman for the Teleports to raid in case I want to do raids in the future. Oh my god, I got a Talisman. I got the talisman first kill at the canyon. There's a max die guy here So we're just gonna run in open the chest and run out and we get nothing and that's horror from deep completed task completed the next task is Hellhound I just missed the level 78 attack We can now use Vesta longsword if I ever get one and that's 80 strength and that's 90 magic on the alt I have decided to sell all my barrels item just so I can get myself 78 herb lore for raids I just missed the level, that is 70 herb lore, 
Eight levels to go. That's 75 herb lore, three levels to go. 78 herb lore, we can now do raids, but we are not actually gonna do raids anytime soon. I just got this because it's so cheap now and it's gonna be very expensive to get herb lore next week. And that is 70 prayer. We still haven't completed the King's Ransom quest yet, but we have the prayer level unlocked. All right, let's start getting all the requirements for King's Ransom. Black Knight Fortress, completed. Holy Grail, completed. And that's the Murder Mystery, completed. Jungle Potion, completed. No, 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 no. And that's Shiloh Village, completed. And that is, after a very long time, one small favor, completed. Now we only have one quest left, which is going to be the King's Ransom. That took a while, King's Ransom completed. We are almost done now. We can almost use the piety quest. And that's the final one killed. We can now use piety finally. And that is the Helen task completed. This is going to be the casket, beautiful. I don't know what we want, let's open this one. And I got nothing I wanted. And that's the task completed. That is what we like to see. Dragon plate skirt. Oh, this is great. Another dragon plate skirt. That's another 160k to the bank. And this is 75 defense. We can now use the dragon fire shield we've kept in my bank since episode 2. Ooh, 70 slayer. Slayer task completed. This task is going to be fire giants. Oh, that's an easy one. Is that a long bone? And that is 80 attack. Let's go for 99 strength. As I was training Slayer, I realized that a lot of people in this cave are AFK. So I decided to bring my alt account and AFK check players. He's still AFK, guy on the, guy on the, guy on the. Zero! Yes! We got someone! Oh my god, this is a. He had full rune, glory. Broad balls, runite. All right, there we go. I'm uh, tanking this one out. 282k in the bank. And from the key, supplies. 95k, not too bad. Ooh, that's 90 HP. AFK, one hit. I got a kill. He was AFK. Oh my God, there's so many people AFK here. Um, Not as much as the last kill. 171k in the looting bag. All right, let's have a look at the key. Are we lucky? Uh, four prey potions for 4k in total and he's a zero that's another zero and he's gone on one hp free this game right here thank you oh i gotta kill I got more keys than that PK here. So we got 200k in the looting bag and in the keys we got a lot of more supplies. That's a great key and nothing. He's AFK and now he's dead. Goodbye. And that is 150k in the bag. He has no food. <laughs> don't tell me he's dead outside. Please don't tell me he's dead outside. <gasps> he died outside. All right, this is a free whip. He's so AFK. I was wrong. He wasn't AFK. Misclick. Sorry, brother. However, this guy was super AFK. Two kills in the bag for 300k. All right, let's have a look at these keys. Oh my god. This is a great one. 245k. A lot of rat runes. A lot of supplies, which I'm gonna use. Thank you. And 133k cash and supplies and good items too. This was two great bank keys. No one really follows to the Aberrant Spectres because you need a nose peg and no one brings it. So this is the easiest escape in this cave. Oh, 46! He's dead. He's dead! He's dead! Finally! Oh my god, he was so AFK. 300k, 100k cash, this is a great key. All right, I think this key could be very, very good. Have a, let's have a look. Wow, one mil PK, dragon fruit seeds, a lot of seeds. This is going to push up my bank key even more. I think my bank key is worth at least two mil at this point. Killing 
on Max Guy. Oh my god, we kill a strength cape. This is huge. Dragon Skimitar, Glory, Black D Hide. 150k, but I think the Banky, the Banky is what's huge. Mewling is allowed on this tournament, so he could potentially have nothing, but he could also have a lot. Let's see here. Alright, I'll take it. This is actually a good key. So I don't have a Patreon and I don't have a YouTube membership page, but if you want to give me that tiny bit of extra support, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe if you're new. And as always, a fridge update for you guys. We don't have any food left. The only thing we seem to have in the fridge is this giant ice ball on the wall.